For the 6.9 ready, first it just starts off by saying if you remember these middle school formulas. So you should Google these all if you don't know them. But once you look them up, you should see that the area of a circle is pi r squared. The volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. The area of a rectangle is length times width. The perimeter of a rectangle is two widths and two lengths. And the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So again, these are something from middle school they expect you to know. At this point, feel free to look them up until you do have them memorized. Now we're going to go find the perimeter of this next shape. Notice it's a rectangle, so we basically just want to add 5 and 5 and add 8 and 8. And so the perimeter is equal to 10 plus 16 or 26. So 10 plus 16 is 26. And this is in feet. So to put those units. Next, it wants the area and the circumference for this circle. So we'll start with the circumference. Circumference formula from above is 2 pi r. And we see here that our radius given in the problem is 5. You're going to give this answer in terms of pi, 10 pi, and then you're going to give the answer in terms of a decimal. So we say it's 10 pi inches, and then you grab your calculator and do the pi button times 10. And I'm getting... 31.42. Because we're rounding, we're going to use the approximation symbol and then don't forget those units. So again, why are we doing two answers for this one? The circumference in terms of pi is just 10 pi. That's the exact answer. And then as a decimal, my approximate answer is approximately 31.42 inches. Next, we have to do the area of a circle, which is pi r squared r again is 5, 5 squared is 25 pi. This time my units are squared, square inches. There's my answer in terms of pi. Now grab your calculator and do 25 times the pi button and you'll get your decimal answer. I'm getting approximately 78.54. Notice the rounding on that when you do it on your calculator. So again, why the two answers? We've got the exact answer, 25 pi square inches, and then we've got the approximate rounded answer, 78.54 square inches. Last but not least, we've got the volume and surface area of a prism. This happens to be a rectangular prism. Remember that volume is length times width times height. So we go 7 times 9 times 23 which is 63 times 23, grabbing the calculator, 1449 meters cubed. Then for surface area, I want you to imagine that there's a front and a back. So there's two of the seven times nines. Then there's a right and a left side. So there's 2 times the 23 times 7. And then there's 2 of the top and the bottom, which is 23 times 9. See if all that makes sense for you. And then plug that into a calculator. Add those all up. And we get that the surface area is 862 meters squared. Okay, that's the ready. How'd you do? Don't forget to put your name.